Now Sumac is an authentic Moroccan restaurant that has been beautifully decorated to create the ambience of a Fez palace. Now I'm here with Ross, who's the head chef. This looks amazing, authentic Moroccan cuisine. Right. Now what ingredients do you focus on? Well, we focus on um, traditional sort of Moroccan uh, ingredients that you'd find um, in Lebanon, Moroccan, and Turkish, that sort of place, with the pomegranate, a lot of molasses sauces, um, a lot of the style of tagines, which is very um, uh, the style of that area. Um, and that, so, yeah, and, and, and we try and interpret, um, tweak it a wee bit for uh, the Australian sort of palate. Fantastic. And what, do, what have you made for us here today? Well, today we've got uh, uh, calamari. It's very similar to salt and pepper um, calamari that you'd find in Australia, but we've just tweaked it a bit with, with the harissa and the, and the shallots. It's very fiery and very hot. Yeah. Um, then we have the quail over here with the uh, pomegranate um, quail, uh, and that's on a, on a leek... Uh, on a zucchini, chickpea and feta pancake with uh, uh, pomegranate sauce. And over here for a main, we have the uh, snapper fishball tagine. That will have uh, uh, preserved le lemon, which is a very typical uh, Moroccan uh, thing that everybody uses, really. Um, and that's with a side of carrot and pistachio, uh, pistachio nut couscous. Yep. And then what they're really known for is their shish kebabs and their uh, Thing. So we've interpreted something for the Australian audience with uh, a mixed meat shish kebab and that would have uh, a lamb kafta, um, a little small spatchcock with a bit of kangaroo on it and that's flavoured with a marmalade and uh, harissa glaze it's on there. everything in that one. Yes, yeah, and we also serve that here with a, a flaming pot of, of za'atar which is a, a typical um, herd from that region as well. Beautiful. Um, and finally? Finally our dessert is... Uh, uh, Dates, filled, fresh dates filled with um, apricots, yep. uh, soaked in brandy, and that's uh, served with sticky date ice cream, and it has a uh, hash mac. And now we've got tea as well? Yes, that's right. It's typically the Moroccans or Lebanese love their tea, yep. and they really enjoy the mint flavour. So we've uh, incorporated a, a style of tea for um, our sumac uh, patrons, and, and that uh, has a, a cinnamon bark, star anise, cardamom pod and uh, a couple of cloves and that and then we infuse that with the thing and we pour that over fresh mint. We should do that now, okay. so how do we do it? Like First this? pop that over there and pour it in. Pour it in. Perfect, this is a nice touch. Mm. Okay. Then you have your little bit of Turkish delight to finish off which they love. Cheers. Cheers.